you got two rushes of adrenaline, and I'm going to go to the third chart to illustrate that. Two rushes. Prior to presentation, and then when you hear your name. I only get the second one. See, what do you do before presentation? Most people tell you, rough night, and like, not sleeping well for days. Yeah, you know why? Because you're thinking about the presentation negatively. That's called negative mental visualization. It's like the fear of flying. You go, I know it's going to crash, I know it's going to crash. So you wake up that morning, at last you wake up. Regrettably, you're still alive. And you go, I'll eat pizza. I'm going to have to go through this. I hate this. So now you're thinking negative thoughts. Now let me explain something to you about your central nervous system. Your central nervous system will respond to the images that are produced and the emotions that are produced by your mind. Okay? Case in point. Have you ever awakened from a nightmare, shaking, furnace of breath, sweating? Your mind, your central nervous system does not know that this is a dream. To it, it's a real threatening scenario. So because of that, the body just kicks in, the adrenaline is secreted, and all the symptoms come on. Right. Professional presenters don't have this nervousness because they go, I know this stuff, I can do this. I present all the time, piece of cake. So instead of climbing before the opening remarks, they stay down here. I had no nervousness this morning. It's only when Marty began introducing me and said, okay, it's showtime. I got a little buzz. So Michelle, I went from very little to 20%, 30%. Monday, it's usually a little higher because I'm rested, okay? But I've been presenting for two solid weeks. I am beat. What does that mean? I have zipped in the tank this morning. Okay? You, on the other hand, all of you are going, okay, we have to present another exercise. I hate this guy. Why do I sign up for these workshops? Right. You might even show up for the other guy's presentation to me and watch him get massacred. Excellent. By the time they introduce you, your tank is full, eh? Well, oh, yeah, right now it's like, that's right. And then they call your name. Okay, next is Peter. Woohoo! <laughs> there it is. The second rush. We have liftoff, Houston. The afterburners. And all of a sudden, he's looking out there going, I'm seeing Klingons and Romulans. What the hell's going on? And it stays there for a few minutes. People tell you it's always the first few minutes, the first few minutes, the first few minutes. And then you return to planet Earth. Yeah. And this is so much better, right? Eh? Well, actually, it's not that good. You're still quite pumped. But you were here visiting Klingons and Romulans, and now you're back here on Earth. Right. And it stays there until you have a problem, or somebody said, I, I have a problem with that. I don't agree with you. I beg your pardon? <laughs> a nice little rush. Because now you're getting public rejection. Go back and do outer space for a few more minutes. <laughs> right? Mm. I'll explain. Your mind assesses that the situation, presentation, is threatening. Your mind, therefore, whether you like it or not, activates the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands secrete molecules of adrenaline to your bloodstream. Molecules of adrenaline that are looking for beta adrenergic receptor sites. Beta adrenergic receptor sites. The molecules penetrate these sites, boom! The symptoms occur. Shortness of breath, muscular tension, racing heart, you're the only one who's warm in the room. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're warm, yeah. Respiring, etc. Mm -hmm. And they have the water and they don't share. You notice that? <laughs> You're such barbarian when it comes to people treatment. Right. The reason I'm mentioning to you this about the beta adrenergic receptor sites is because there is medication. They're called beta blockers. 